All right, well, we're here with the one and only George Takei. I hear you just presented an award. What was the award for? It was the Corporate Visionary Award to Bank of America. They've been very supportive of the work of the East West players, and so it's in recognition of that long term commitment. And that's what's important with uh, nonprofit organizations, not just, you know, one night stands, but something that we can rely on and depend on over the years. Yeah, definitely. So could you tell us a little bit about your involvement with East West Players? I know you've been like heavily involved since the beginning. Well, I'm uh, the uh, uh, chair of the uh, uh, Council of Governors of the East West Players. It's uh, an institution I believe in. It is the oldest minority uh, cultural uh, performing arts institution in the United States, not just in California, not just in the West, but the whole United States. It's been uh, functioning successfully for 45 years, and that's a real achievement. There was an African-American uh, uh, theater company in New York that was a tad bit older, but uh, they went belly up. And that's why events like this are important to uh, recognize the people who have, and corporations who have been supporting us for many, many continuing years. Definitely. So would you just say that your passion is in the theater? Because I know you do, obviously, a little bit of everything, but do you think theater is the one thing that you always go back to and you just really love? That's my real love, <laughs> the theater, the stage, with a living audience out there that gasps, that laughs, and that sobs, and most importantly, at the end of the performance, they applaud and sometimes get on their feet and give you standing ovations. A theater is a place where an actor is most at home. Most at home. So when did you realize that theater was like your passion or that it was something you want to do for the rest of your life? Well, I didn't realize it. I was just uh, in love with theater from the time I was a child. Um, when uh, my parents had uh, guests, they had this bouncing, dancing, singing kid that <laughs> came out and uh, said, I learned Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, would you like to see it? And, and I performed for them. So it was not a realization, it was something that was organic to me from uh, as far back as I could remember. But then in grammar school, I loved being in <clears throat> the plays at school. And I was in the drama club in junior high and high school and uh, in the glee club. And, uh, oh, in the glee club. So you must love that show then. <laughs> I do, indeed. <laughs> Singing is uh, an important part of reaching people by, by the heart as well as the mind. So was the glee club the popular kids or was it like the show where the, they were the outcasts and they had to perform their way up? Well, we had one football player in our, in our glee club. Oh, my gosh. And... Um, the star of um, uh, uh, high school uh, presentation, uh, Brigadoon, is my barber still today. His father had a barber shop, and he took over after uh, he gradu graduated from high school. And uh, I've been going to him ever since. So uh, a Glee Club uh, friend is my barber to this day. Funny, long, long standing relationships, they're the best. So one of the things I guess we like to talk about is just, you know, during the time when you started doing acting, there weren't that many Asians in the media. So how, how do you feel about how far like the Asian industry has been able to come since then? We have made enormous strides since then because I started, my first gig was in 1957, more than a half a century ago. And uh, at that time they were pretty small roles they were pretty stock roles and pretty stereotype roles. Uh, the servant, the villain, uh, the uh, buffoon, you know, that, that kind of role. My um, father, you know, when I, I started out my college career as an architecture student because that's what my father wanted me to be. And being a good son, I did two years as an architecture student up at Berkeley. But my that burning fire inside me had to be answered. And so I went to UCLA as a theater We're arts Bruins. student. You're a Bruin too. And um, my father said, uh, he, he agreed to let me study what I wanted to study. Uh, but he said, don't do anything that, would, uh, that you would be ashamed of. So I was very selective, but also very lucky because my first feature film uh, I got 
uh, from a, a casting director who saw a student production at UCLA and plucked me out of that and put me into my first feature film, uh, the uh, movie version of Edna Ferber's uh, epic novel on, on Alaska, starring Richard Burton and Robert Ryan, two weeks on location in Alaska and two months back at the studio. Wow. So I have been very lucky by great. boldly going That's where great. no one had gone before. That is awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Oh,